Should we have Joe come in, or should we just leave him out there? Is Sam, <laughs> is Sam with him? Let's get Joe back here, at least uh, to sit Sam here. just checked in. Oh, yeah, we'll have them come in. Okay. okay. We'll, we'll, we'll tell some jokes. Oh, is that what the plan is? Yeah, have them, we'll just put them on the spot when they come in. Right, well, guys, go. What kind of jokes you got? No, I'm saying for them. Yeah, that's what but I mean. Let's have them come in. So go, guys, floor's yours. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's see how it goes. Let's see that when they come in. When they come in. Are they going to come in together? I hope so. Make sure they come in together. Don't allow them in here. Yeah, when they come in, let's just go, guys. Floor's yours. Yeah. Okay. What do you got? <laughs> is that a? You do a lot of radio promoting Nothing gigs better. and stuff. Is that the best when you walk into a show and they go, "Hey, what do you got?" You know what? I did, a show I did recently, which was really fun. I did Bob and Tom. I, I've never done in, in their studio. It was really fun to do live. Oh, did I tell you I did Man Cow? What? It was very bizarre. I was uh, I was in Chicago, Chi Town. And you I really was, were in Chicago. I was doing a. I did a couple of morning shows, and I'd been booked on Man Cow. And then they had me for a 90-minute block. But it was the last bit of press. I had two things, and the man count from my 18th day before they cancel. So I said to my publicist, I bet you that they cancel just because they wanted to have me booked thinking it would keep my morning tied up and then just kind of fuck me by canceling me. That's what I thought at the moment. Just because of the old man count rivalry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. like, they probably did that on purpose. And she goes, no, they didn't. I'm like, of course they did. And then the day before they canceled me, whatever, but it didn't hurt us because we already had this stuff before. So I'm in the building, and it turns out it was the same building as him. I walked by his studio once. He's on the air, and he didn't see me. And I'm doing this stuff, and then uh, at the end of it, I'm ready to leave, and his producer comes over and goes, do you want to stop in? Do you want to come in? Like, I, I guess they didn't do it for any bad reasons. They didn't do it to fuck me. I guess that they just thought, like, hey, old Opie and Anthony, we don't want to have anybody from ONA. And I went in, and uh, it was, I figured it was going to be confrontational. Because I know Man Cow from way back. Mm -hmm. like, before I knew ONA, I knew him. So I walk in, and uh, it looked like it might have been, and we talked for a couple... When was this? Last week, two weeks ago. I just forgot to talk about it. Oh. But it wasn't, um, it wasn't awful. Well, what was it? I mean, uh, it was just me discussing uh, what had kind of happened. Um, and, and he was okay. I mean, I, again, I know him for, for quite a while. He was fine when I walked in. I mean, it's, it's nothing... I don't even know if it's worth playing. It wasn't, it wasn't confrontational? No, it started off... Like, uh, he was like... Uh, I forget what he said, to be honest with you, mm -hmm. but I thought it was going to be kind of aggressive. And we were for a second, but it was not. It wound up being fun. But you did address it. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't want to go in if I didn't address it. I didn't think he'd want me in if he didn't address it. Did you, you talk, talk about uh, Anthony yeah. trying to No, we didn't get that. Show? We didn't get that specific, um, but I would have. And anything that they wanted to talk about, I would have talked about. Yeah. Um, did you enjoy the show? Yeah, it was fun. Mm. It was fun. Was Turd there? He was actually, but I didn't know which one he was until I was walking out. Did you ask? You should have asked him which I didn't one's think. turd. I, because I was expecting it to be very, uh, I, I was, again, I was expecting it to be confrontational. But it was, it was just minor, very minor. It was, it would, was actually fun. I would want to watch my back. You know, turds in there. I don't know which one's turd is. I never. He does all kinds of crazy pranks. Going into those studios that we've had issues with, I never am on. Lex and Terry, I did. They all were great. studios. Yeah, most of them. <laughs> yeah. That's... Are they here? Yeah. All right, let's just bring him in. Okay. Uh, and, uh, what do you guys got? <laughs> okay. 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 You hear him? Troy, Troy informed them we're live on the yeah, air. Yes, so good. Hi, Sam. Yeah. Hi, Joe. There's Sam Morell and Joe uh, Mackey. You got here first, right? Mackey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so what's up, guys? What do you got? How you doing, man? Good. It's good to... Oh boy! Just saw just saw Star Wars. Still reeling from that. <laughs> Still reeling. Do you like it? No, I did not. Really? You call it the Last Jedi? It might be the last time they get my money at the theater. What? From that. How I about mean, these people that are that are rating every Star Wars movie online? How infuriating is that? What every, are they doing? Like everybody just on Facebook. My new updated Star Wars uh, listings in order, and you're like, oh, do something productive with your fucking life. Well, at least they wrote it. I hate it when people post news stories on Facebook. I have access to news websites. <laughs> like, that's supposed to be for your stuff on Facebook. You didn't write that. Some person at CNN wrote it. Boy, we, we're just I feel like we came, lot, in, we came yeah. with a lot of energy, <laughs> man. I mean, look, I didn't plan on, on bringing the show to I can't either. I couldn't keep it straight. No, face. no, we're just kidding. And kids today, they don't <laughs> work. We, we, we said when you walked in, we, we were just going to do nothing, and we were going to go, all right, guys, what do you got? <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to create an unpleasant radio environment. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys did very well. I was going to say, yeah, the, uh, two comics together, you're going to find something to they talk about. Well. Especially guys that do their uh, 
a, a, sh- a fucking podcast together. Have you had to do that? Have there been shows where you actually go on and like that happens in real life where they're like, okay, well, these guys are here to do our show for us, so. Uh, oh, yeah, good on Lord. the road, yeah, all, all the time. You do that radio show, and they're like, all right, what do you got? And you're like, seriously? <laughs> yeah. The worst, though, is when, they, show. the worst is when they go off your bio, and they pull <laughs> shit out. You're like, what do you fucking think that is? A, a fodder for... Like, I've had guys walk, because I was born in Bayonne, and I'll walk in, and I've had guys go, uh, so you're, uh, you're from Bayonne. <laughs> and I'm like, really? Like, where do I go with that? Like, what do you think? I built eight minutes <laughs> on falling on my mother's cunt to that part of New Jersey? <laughs> and the worst part is the arrogance. Like, do you know they think they're Carson, too, with that oh. setup? Oh, so, yeah. yeah. So yeah. it says, Hugh, you were an intern on a show. Yeah, yeah I got nothing yeah. on that, yeah. obviously. Yeah. I understand you started 1990. <laughs> yeah, good one. Wow, you really got to the That's... tough questions early. <laughs> That's what I do with my show. I kind of... Open it up and let the comics be the comics, you know? <laughs> like, you're not you're not doing us any favors. Yeah, they all think they're always like, I'm a big stern guy, so let me just handle this. Like, really? Like, you're in Syracuse. And I don't mind those shows. I don't mind those shows that have a lot of people in them. A lot of people, like, when you walk in as a stand-up and you're doing, like, when there's six people in a room, it's usually going to be decent because there's enough people to play off of. Right. So it's almost like doing a small crowd. Like, I was telling them, I did Man Cow before. Like, I had a good... Because, again, there's a bunch of people. Bob and Tom is a shitload of people. So it's kind of hard. Uh, you wish what I did that we used to have trouble with, who were great? Uh, fucking Preston and Steve in Philly. Mm. Our show used to fight with them a lot. And then I wound up doing it. And, uh, you, you know, there was like fucking eight people plus an audience. It was fucking excellent. Because you have all those people they in the room. They have a studio audience? They did that day. There's just, just some friends. Like, or some oh, people. I see. Okay, just people. There's probably 12 people in the room whatever. It was fucking great because you have a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah, it makes things easier. Yeah, this when you walk in, there's just two of them. Yeah. Oh, that can be oh. rough. And if oh. <laughs> if they're like, this guy's cutting into my dumb criminal time, you know where they read dumb oh. criminal stuff off the internet, <laughs> and then they, they're like, oh, that was dumb. You're interrupting my Florida news segment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why did you like Star Wars? I, we, I haven't seen it yet. Did you? You saw it. You liked it, right? I didn't see Star oh, Wars. Oh, you didn't. Okay. But a lot. It's 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 getting uh, very mixed. Travis liked it, but Travis, I mean, whatever. Whatever Disney shits out and puts a Star Wars logo on, Travis will approve of it. That's not true at all. Travis is a fucking idiot. And I'm the first one to say it. Uh, you, you know, if you like characters that they develop and then suddenly have no part in the story anymore, or characters that you knew from the past that suddenly don't act like they're that character, even though they're played by the same actor, there's just no continuity uh. to what happens it, from the past to, to the to Is this the a J.J. Abrams one? No, he didn't. Uh, he's the no, executive uh, producer. No, Ryan Johnson did this one. The guy who did, like, Brick, and uh, he's a really good director. Did Looper? See, Brick did is Looper? like... Uh, yeah, Looper, great movie. I never yeah. saw Looper. Oh, it's awesome. It was about somebody who works in the movie industry, right? <laughs> Boom. <laughs> <laughs> industry jargon. I had no faith. In it. It's okay. Um, yeah, that's what people... So it's like they take familiar characters and just created a new sci-fi movie out of it yeah it's just it's like mark hamill is playing luke skywalker but without giving anything away luke skywalker doesn't act like luke skywalker but he's old does he act like grumpy old luke skywalker no he yeah. acts he acts like kind of like uh, a bumbling idiot is he luke what? skywalker with a fucking swollen prostate in his late 50s <laughs> he, he, has to go up, he has to get to pee a lot i mean there was, <laughs> that, was that was an odd choice for star wars is darth vader in it no, he's not. Oh, suck my dick, Star Wars. <laughs> well, I don't want to see it without Darth Vader. He's been it's dead after, for 45 he died. It's after, yeah. He, I don't. It's a sequel. <laughs> give a fuck. Luke, take this mask off me. You don't remember that? I, that I remember like, all of it. I don't like want to they s- made the Godfather 4 and, and brought back Brando for it. Well, you know <laughs> like, what? I can like, Understandable if, if Brando and Sonny blow up a planet together. But since that you can do whatever you want in this shit franchise, bring oh, back Darth Vader. Jar Jar Binks developed technology to bring back villains. And Darth Vader. Back. Holy that shit! That would make Jar Jar happy. It? I wouldn't. I'm that would have been awesome if Jar Jar was in it. <laughs> that fucking franchise can suck my dick. <laughs> Fuck you. Because of Darth Vader? On, he's the best bad guy in movie history, and if he's not in the movie, your fucking movie stinks. Well, remember when he threw the <laughs> Emperor? So many movies. That's so weird. It's That's sh- only three good movies then. No, the one with JJ was fucking great. But he was not in it. He was. He was in it briefly. No. Wait, which one? Which one was he in briefly? The Rogue one. one. Uh, Rogue One. So whoever directed that. Rogue One was great. Yeah. That was really good. Yeah. How right, about you so do another one like that? Because of Darth. <laughs> No, but his scene was great. That this was exactly why, what I by wanted. Way, this is why people hate the new Star Wars. Because, because of Darth Vader? No, because it's it's not what they wanted. What do they want? A good movie. How about just a fucking well, yeah. something like Rogue One, something that's actually a really good movie, and stop with these fucking cornball... Do- are there oh. any cornball kids' they, fucking toy characters? No, but they, they make so many bad jokes 
Uh, in the movie, it's some it's. Bad jokes. Well, I was talking about to, with Sean Donnelly at the cellar. It's every movie wants to be Iron Man now, uh, where the uh, characters yeah. are making all these wacky jokes. Or Deadpool too, you know. Like yeah, the, yeah. The, they, they either go like that route or the other one where they have to be like a little too clever, and you're like, just shut up and be a movie. Yeah, right. yeah, just be a superhero. Put your fucking cape on and save a baby from being run over by a truck. It's like these guys, <laughs> superheroes are all dorks, and all of a sudden. When they have their superpowers, they're like really quick off the cuff. And yeah, they've got all these great lines. Snazzy. <laughs> Didn't I see that they had little like furball creature, Furby looking things? He, in he it? wasn't in it in as much as as the marketing campaign would suggest. Right. Yeah, they want to sell a lot of toys. Yeah, but, I see, it's, but it's not. not it, it doesn't distract. No. That's so, why I hate that. Joe, franchise you didn't like now. it when uh, when 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 Poe was talking to General Hux in the beginning. Ah! Well, he, well, he said, "Gentlemen, gentlemen." <laughs> that was the only. Perhaps more than that, Darth. Those You're from the only... Tatooine. <laughs> I'm from Tatooine. <laughs> that was the only funny part in the whole movie. But then they went. Too far by, well, I don't want to give it away. No, but so tell yeah. me about Luke Skywalker. He's an idiot yeah. now. He's a bumbling fool. I would have thought that he learns the Force at a fairly young age, right? Well, he masters old for, it. Old for learning the Force, but young compared to like... <laughs> Amount, uh, 40 years ago, Like right? a grad student, yeah. So like 40 years ago, he learned the Force. 40 years ago, yeah. So he's had 40 years to practice already knowing the Force. Already knowing the Force and having life, you know, life experiences, that trip to, to you know... Mexico in college, sure. and then, uh, you know the 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 first wife and the divorce. And so why the, is he such a fool? They it doesn't make any sense. Travis, why is Luke Skywalker an idiot? I, I disagree with Joe. I don't think he's an idiot. You don't think he's a bumbling buffoon? No, and I I don't know how much I want to talk about before Jim sees it. I'll, I'll see it uh, over the break. I really want to see. I want to see it too. The new Star Wars is probably going to annoy don't care. me. How are Leia's teeth? Anthony was in yesterday, <laughs> and he said that her dentures are distracting. I didn't notice that. <laughs> it's a it's a hevel, it's a heavily Leia Leia based film, but uh, uh, is Joe Mackey's... That's just what we needed. <sighs> Why didn't you like that? Oh, how fucking who cares? How can you sit there and be like, you need more Darth Vader? What do you mean, Princess Leia's in it? This because sucks. the difference. That's exactly it. What's the who wants? What do you, you ask? Ten thousand people who've seen Star Wars. Who do you want to see more Princess of in a movie? Princess like one of the most beloved characters in sci-fi history. You know she it's... is, but that was back then when she was fucking young. I love you. <laughs> I know. That's what we want. Nobody wants to see sixty-year-old fucking Leia. Does she wear? Everyone the knows you know she what? died on a fucking Air France flight or whatever it you was. Know, <laughs> you know what though? Shut up. I love Can you. she still call herself Princess, even though the planet she's from blew up? <laughs> That's true. That I is just true. That, I love that Jim's general. I, I love that Mackie really stepped on Jim's Air France joke right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. Kyle Mackie's like, let me make sure there's no yeah. I thought my planet being blown up joke was in better taste. No, Joe's, Joe's got continuity issues. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love that Jim can't get past the fact that Carrie Fisher died in real life, but he can get past the fact that Darth Vader yes. died in the movie already. I'm only saying what did people want. I love Carrie Fisher. She was amazing in that. She is a great character. Yeah. But as you get older, and now they're doing this. The one you want to see. You know why? Because you can't tell Darth Vader has aged. You know why? Because he has a fucking hat he's and a mask dead. on. He's dead. But meaning in real life. You can hear it in James Earl Jones' <laughs> voice. Dead. Mark fucking Hamill. Ha Harrison Ford. You can see that all of them are so much older, so it's not the same. Okay, Joe. You're kind of like a star. I know I'm, he's dead. Fix it. I'm, I'm just, <laughs> and then if they, they did, it, you, you, think you would when, be complaining about I, how they're just doing the same thing well, over Well, how about a bad guy that doesn't suck like that fucking emotionally distraught little twat in the last one? My got dad issues. I like that guy from Girls. Oh, yeah, Adam Driver. I think, he was, I think he's great. He's, he's great. great. I, I, he's a good I, character, but I, why did he lose to this girl that's been practicing the Force for 22 wait, minutes? Wait, was that the last? Exactly. That, that was the last one. Awakens, yeah. Stunk. Yeah, it I didn't like, make any sense. And the whole stunk. All the other movies, we learned how hard it is to learn the Force, and 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 Finn scores a hit on a Sith. When he's got no practice and we don't okay. know, it doesn't make any sense. It's clear that Joe's it's, not wrong. It's clear that you're. I think we just lost a lot of female listeners right there. <laughs> it's clear that you're in touch with the Star Wars community. I've got my finger on the pulse. Right, which is important. Do sure, you, should be the trigger. Is, <laughs> <laughs> is is what the Star Wars community wants in the new Star Wars movie less Princess Leia, more Darth Vader? Is that the problem? No, I just think ah. we we want a story that makes sense as a standalone movie. And as part of the, the history, and there's a whole bunch of moments in the first two, uh, in The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi, where you're like, this doesn't make any sense in this movie, because nothing's explained, or or with what happened in the previous six movies. Travis, what do you think of, of Joe Mackey right now? Do you think he's like, okay, he's making some good points, or is he I being a think, bitch? I, well, he's being a bitch, but oh! I, don't, I, don't think, oh, I, don't, I don't think he's wrong in the sense that it's very difficult to make... 
uh, heads or tails? Continuing stories oh. with different writers and different directors. Oh uh, yeah. You know because so so JJ writes and directs episode seven, and then they basically say, "Here you go, Ryan. What do you think?" That's, and that's Ryan a good point. Gets the keys. And now JJ is going to go pick up what Ryan did oh. and continue the story. But they do it on TV shows. What a terrible idea that is. Let one they, if it's they, they do, per- but it's also not a billion dollar franchise that everybody loves. That's they true. turned into the aristocrats. <laughs> like everyone gets right. to make their own Star So, Wars. you know, it's difficult. Right. If, if JJ had an idea as to who Ray's parents were, right. you know, Ryan got to decide who's Ray's, who Ray's parents were. Oh, shit. And I'm not going to tell you who they are, but I liked the decision. I don't care who Ray's parents Who the fuck is Ray? I don't know. She's the girl. Oh, oh who okay. cares who her parents She's are? She's our heroine. Oh. <laughs> Jim just wants more Darth Vader. I want more Darth. Yeah, what, what if, if, Darth what if she was Vader. like, what if Darth Vader came out and, she, and he was like, Poe, I am also your father. <laughs> you know what? I, 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 I would take that over this fucking little simp going, my dad, I miss my dad, I've got issues. Oh, I that guy fucking ate my ass. He was so bad. If 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 I'm a Star Wars character, I don't want my kids you to know who I am. You probably could be, Joe. No, because like, <laughs> your kids are very likely to murder you with a lightsaber. It's a, it's a recurring theme. Yeah, it's true. I mean, uh, I, I just don't want to... It, I've lost interest in it because I'd, be, I'd be wanting to hate George Lucas so I, much. I loved it this whole time. I feel like every time Jim makes a joke, Mackie follows it up with a Star Wars-specific joke. <laughs> trying to keep on task here, guys. <laughs> you have to have seen all nine movies to get the joke. <laughs> well, I don't... Yeah, I was even saying, like, from one to six... Like, from, from three to six, not even... Or, from sorry, sorry, from four to six, A New Hope, to, to now, or, uh, not uh, one, two, and three. What's your take on the prequels? Oh, man, they were... Not that great, right? They weren't that great, but at least they kind of made sense. Let me did, ask does you Does Hayden this. Christensen have a future in Star Wars movies? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jim, what if, what if Darth Vader came back, but it was Hayden Christensen? Dude, Darth Vader, here's the thing. It's all James Earl. It's all David Prowse and it's James Earl Jones. James Earl Jones, when he did the, the, uh, the, uh, the, the Rogue One, you could hear that they used his voice, and he's probably 80 years old now, it sounded slightly older. Like, they probably should have gotten somebody who just did a great Darth Vader. Oh, my God. Can you imagine the uproar? But, I mean, if you James could... Earl Jones is alive yeah, and they don't get be... him to do Darth Vader. Maybe, but you could have got someone else. But it still worked. But it, I, it threw me a little bit because he didn't have quite the power in his voice. But that scene where he's walking through just chopping everybody's fucking oh, head. Man. Big amazing. Off. amazing. The best part of that fucking movie is him walking through with a lightsaber go, telling everybody to go fuck their mothers. That was the best part of that movie. That was the first time I'd been... I thought a Star Wars movie had a scary scene in it. Because even with the, the Yoda lightsaber oh, battles where it's a pinball Yoda. machine. And <laughs> that was amazing. He's <laughs> fighting, he's fighting uh, Count Dooku and, and later Darth Sidious. And he's going all over the place. It just I was, This is just CGI crap. No one's scared of Yoda. <laughs> what well, if, you oh, think they'd be good. scared of Sidious. Or, or... What if Darth Vader took his helmet off and Darth Maul was under it? Would that be cool? That would have been cool. Because I thought that was a character that, like in this past movie, no. that they didn't develop well <laughs> yeah, enough. It wouldn't have been cool. Darth Maul. Ooh, Maul's a scary name. <laughs> he looked cool. And he looked then he cool. turned out not to totally, be cool. Totally agree. And then he, like, he was the guy with the two lightsabers. Yeah. The yeah. Side oh, of... goodness. And he had Double red... the deadliness. <laughs> 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 yeah. He had a red face like the devil and horns. Oh, I know he did. Stuff. <laughs> yeah. Fucking he... Darth Chipperson. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> Darth Chipperson. <laughs> <laughs> so it's stupid. But then he sucked in the movie. Right? Well, they just didn't have him enough. He was cool in the five seconds that they, yeah, he was on barely screen. Barely in the movie. Yeah. And then he's done. That was disappointing. The Darth Maul stuff? Yeah. Well, what, what's better, uh, Joe Mackey? Episode three, which is called what? Episode three is Revenge of the Sith. That's what I thought. Ooh, Revenge, good, I like that movie. Is Reve- yeah, that's, that's universally that was actually accepted decent. as yeah. good. Far, by far the best of the three, right? Yeah, so, but... So, is Revenge of the Sith... Better than this one that's out right now? Oh, I think so, definitely. Whoa! Hot take! Where well, Star Wars can just fucking kill itself. What if Darth Vader comes back? I just don't want... The, 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 if J.J. did a good job, or whoever did... Uh, sorry, Rogue One directed it, did a great job. Gareth Edwards, yeah. Why not just let that well, guy let that do guy another do killer movie? Rogue One's yeah. a little easier because it's a whole new story. You're not like there's no expectation going Fair enough. It, and right? it's already they, a story that you know happened and it's, I know, and no, it's I know. got an end. But that's yeah. But you also you're also very limited when you do that too, as to what your characters can do. What do you mean? You can do whatever they want. No, because you have to fucking get people that are believable as the characters before. You, you, I think it's a. I think you have to tie in with the story. I, I think it's a, it's a harder story, or just as hard to tell. I mean, when you're doing episode, what is this ten now? 
Nine, ten. Uh, that was uh, technically it was episode eight. No, the the one that you just oh, yeah, because because Return of the Jedi is six. So The Force Awakens is oh, seven. Eight. Oh, this is eight. Okay. Yeah, even though the prequel is before it's episode one, it's like three and a half. Franchise. But, but if you had episode eight, I love right? how much Jim hates Star Wars. I don't hate it though. I, I think yes, that you do. the original was an amazing Empire Strikes Back is one of the fucking best, like, you know, uh, yeah, sci fi yeah. films ever. Return Which of the was Jedi is the best. very poorly when it came out. Return of the Jedi was okay. Had all the Ewoks running around in uh, the forest. Ex- that, that's but that's just George off Lucas the rail. being a twat. He started off the rail being with Being a fucking chinless fucking marketing jizz bag. Yeah. Then you he fucking what? makes fucking uh, Han Solo uh, shoot second. You know, oh, I like God, it. I like yes, when they redid it and then they added more creatures. More yeah. cute, fun creatures. Yeah. I like that too. Yeah. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> I was enjoying Oh, that. who's Lobov? <laughs> <laughs> Planet of intelligent teddy bears <laughs> helps save the world. <laughs> yeah, so they, they took out a lot of that. But Darth Vader is fucking killer. Who doesn't like Darth Vader? That music? Everybody loves, loves yeah. that music. He's he's Peter dead. Cushing? Yeah, he's dead. Who's he's it? dead. I know. Fix it. You know what they also did? <laughs> they also zapped the planet. Fix it. You know what was cool? That planet's bah, gone. They bah, didn't bring the planet bah. back. You know, I bet when, when Darth Vader <laughs> threw the Emperor into that chasm... Bring the Emperor back. The Emperor was probably like, why did I put this chasm in my room? <laughs> 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 this was a bad choice. But the Emperor was also a good bad guy. He was a yeah. fucking... He was scary, ball. yeah. Fuck it. Let him both crawl out of the chasm. <laughs> yeah, oh, back. shit. We were both in there the whole Episode time. Episode 9, just kidding. Yeah, JK, JK. <laughs> just yeah, something better than what people, they've given us. Yeah, they haven't given us a very are... vicious bad guy. This last bad guy was good. He turned into be a fruit. <laughs> a lot of he killed Han Solo. Big deal. Spoiler alert. Was yeah. a big deal. A lot of it was. A, a lot of people are pissed though about this one. I've heard. I'm Joe's not not really? you know yeah. unique in his opinion. A lot of people like who are big Star Wars fans are like this makes no fucking sense what I'm watching right now. It is very split down the middle. So then, Travis, why do you are you a Star Wars apologist? Or do no. you see merit that no, other I don't, people? I don't sit there and say like, oh yeah, the prequels are great. I just thought this was a very good movie. It didn't want you to like it. The Force Awakens wanted what? you to like it. Every Rogue One should... wanted you to like it. It placated to the audience. And I like... What kind of idiot makes a movie that does that? <laughs> You're that's my strategy. When, no, that's I mean, my like, contribution like... to this show, by the way. Everybody who's out there, I don't want you guys to like me. <laughs> You're going to like Sam's Hour special on Comedy Central <laughs> when that comes out. <laughs> JJ made a movie with The Force Awakens that was like, you know, really, a really, really, really great fanboy movie. It's a carbon copy of A New Hope. It is, yeah, it is a copy. Uh, but everybody was fine with that, and I'm fine with that. I thought it was great. Actually, I was there a little was frustrated. One no Darth Vader. True, no Darth Vader. Oh, Kylo Ren was his <laughs> name. <laughs> the same shit. Oh, <laughs> yuck. <laughs> You don't, you don't think he's intimidating? No. He's trying he to impress the, his dad. Kylo was, Ren. He's the dark side. Just wanted dad to like me. Yeah, it's the dark side of the force. Oh. I like that there's a conflicted, you know, emotionally unstable kid that's trying to learn his yes, way. Yes, that's what we need. A millennial bad guy. Yeah. It's awful. He fucking I like, he tweeted I, I, I something. Think he's, I think he's a good character. He I tweeted like something him, and too. an Ewok blocked him and he got upset. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking cunt. I would just like to have been there at the at the, at the the First Order planning meeting where they're like, we're going to build another giant sphere. And they're like, well, hasn't that worked out poorly for us in the past? <laughs> and they're like, no, no, no. This time it's going to be different. There's no way that this giant circle is going to explode. <laughs> Mackie's got like an observational chunk on every That's Star Wars incredible. angle. Hey, <laughs> is the first hey order... write about what you know, Sam. <laughs> the first order is the group, is the bad guys? They're the bad guys. I understand. Oh, I understand. Yeah, Kylo Ren wanted his dad to, oh. He did. He wanted acceptance. Shit. We, can re- we, we can relate to that. That's what I didn't need. I didn't need that shit. <laughs> that awkward meeting at the center of the chasm. They always have walkways over the center of the They really do. Screen. Yeah, you're right. They always do. How about you meet someone just on a conference table? Yeah. <laughs> Coffee shop. Yeah. <laughs> annoyed me a lot. Uh, Kylo Ren's name annoyed me. And I hated the way they Why take... Why Kylo Ren's name annoyed Not just you. a fucking cool name. Kylo Ren. <laughs> what about Darth Vader? Again, it's 1977. It uh-huh. worked. I s- oh, oh, I'm sorry. It worked. You mean no, because... Kylo does sound like a little too surfer. It's like a little it, it's, much. It's, it's too it's a... fucking new... <laughs> You know, ooh, Ashley Berber. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, just really didn't like it. They may as well have been Ashton or something. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it stinks. I or- want the old ones back. Give me Obi-Wan. He's dead, too. Exactly. They kill him immediately. The end of the first one. Such a good character, though. Oh, he's yeah. great. And, and, and when he was, he was like, old, <laughs> if you strike me down, I'll become more powerful. I'd be like... No, if you kill Darth Vader, you'll be pretty powerful too. Yeah. Don't like commit suicide to inspire people. Yeah. 
<laughs> if you're streaming down me from a power post, like, you just disappeared, dude. Yeah, you just, what happened? You're gone. I mean, who cast Peter Cushing in him? I mean, that was just such a great casting. Just a good film, the first one. Mm. Well, you were also you were also younger when I was a boy. Yeah, I saw it in the theater when I was a boy. So I think you might be romanticizing it. But no, I still I, it still holds up as a fucking. It's, it's, again, it's not what it used to be in the fucking. You know the little the little. <laughs> I just hated the fucking dumb noises all too me. Yeah, exactly. But again, it's thirteen years before a cell phone call was ever made, so I, I just like use them. When the guy with the eyes popping up and he goes, "My friend doesn't like you." No, I know. I love you know, how that whole cantina scene should have been chopped out. <laughs> that fucking music. I've talked about too many times. I've hated it. <laughs> hated it. Hated it. Fat little elephant playing the trumpet. George Lucas really annoys me. But they gotta go there because otherwise, how are they gonna find Han Solo? I wonder if that was a galactic cover band too. Like, <laughs> oh no, not da, 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 again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the celebration of fucking the galactic. <laughs> the cool in the gang. <laughs> you don't think it's a fun song? No, I don't. Wow, and that wow, elephant wow, that wow, played wow. it, I, I've never hated the character more than the fucking the little elephant. Who's playing his thing? Because they thought that'd be so cute. <laughs> I think it's great. I'm going to leave it on for the next two minutes. <laughs> it's two, it's, there's another two minutes in there? 2.05, yeah. Oh, my God. I hate I hate this. You do? Hate it. You like this, Joe. I, I think it's a catchy song. <laughs> <laughs> I should do my, start my stand-up sets to this. Yeah, I think so. Do, 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 do. It I makes me great. angry. It's so yeah. bad. Boba Fett was a cool character. Boba Fett's yeah. a beloved cool character. But he's got to be, yeah. he's really, people overrate the shit out of him, though. Yeah, they, they do. I mean, he looks badass, much. though. He's he's very got a badass barely ship. in the movies. Yeah, yeah, but he was cool because he just kind of fucking kidnapped you and smothered you in fucking frozen shit and took you away. <laughs> yeah. I love, and by the way, I hate it. Sorry, uh, Joe. No, go ahead. I hated the way they took out the fucking older fat star Darth. And replaced him with the younger, handsome oh. one. That was Lucas. Was that him wanting something to jerk off to? That was so aggravating. I can't speak to that last comment, but it was frustrating too. Just for <laughs> take me. out this older guy who who was in the in the movie, and that was the guy you chose to play him. And then you get the younger, handsome one. You fucking fruit. Stop it. You need a twink, Darth. You think that's what the fans need? Maybe you just wanted something the chicks could relate to. Oh, fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about George Lucas? Yes. <laughs> I love how with Boba Fett, even the Empire hates bounty hunters, but but we use them. I Who uses that. them? Who? Like the cut America. Like dog. Like dog bounty hunter. <laughs> but we don't like even dog. The we use like, the N word. That's why we like dog. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so who's the Empire? The, well, the Empire hires Boba Fett. Remember when there's all the uh, bounty hunters on the Star Destroyer? Star no, yeah, no, I know, but I thought you, there were, that's not the name you used for them when you said that they were building the Death Star. Bob no, no, Foot. that's the First Order in Episode 7. They're the First Order because the Empire's destroyed. I understand. Yeah. Gotcha. Yep. Keep up. Gotcha. Yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Nico was gone. Nico, well, now that he's here, Nico, sit down. I'm not even trying to, I just, I just, well, he walked in, I'm like, what, what is he here to shoot us? Nico came back. <laughs> Nico came back for a day because he's, he's got a surprise for us. Also, you, did you... No. So, no, I turn that mic on. It gets weird. Did you know what we? Uh, did you keep up on what was going on at all when you were in Europe? Oh yeah. Did you hear about what Nico's doing? Um, no, Nico, you have to. Well, <laughs> we had Nico in last Thursday on his last day, and he was like, "Yeah," <laughs> because he came over to me and he goes, uh, "Hey, you want to see something?" Ew. And I, this is our our ex intern Nico, and I was like, "Yeah, sure." And he showed me his phone. I didn't know what was going to be on it. And it was a trip planner. And he bought tickets to Las Vegas. I did hear that. Because he's going he's going with Mary Jean to the AVNs. And they're Mary Jean the actually room. told me. Yeah. Mary Jean actually texted me and told me. Yeah, she did tell me that. And he's going to be her suitcase pimp, I think, while she's out there. Because he's got to follow her to the signings and all this stuff. That's fucking great. Yeah. Nico, comment. Are you looking forward to this? Yes. Did the boys <laughs> work on your press pass yet? Not as far as I know. You got him? Are you done? Or it's in the Rob it's says in the he's working on it. What okay, happens? Great. And we got a ABNs. microphone for him too. The porn awards. I know, but what? what, what I they mean, give away best. It's actually I've hosted it twice. It used to be. It's not as big as it used to be because of all the online stuff, and it's just a different business. But it used to be when I hosted one year, it was like six thousand people attended, and one year was seven thousand. All the porn stars in the world and a huge audience behind, and you go up, you do a few jokes, and then you fucking they start having the, the stars come out and present awards, best anal, best cum <laughs> show. They have all of them, and it's a real show, man. They fucking <laughs> and they would have at the end a, a, a pretty big music. Like the year I did it, one year I did it was like Lil John and, and whoever else. The East Side Boys. 
I don't remember. Yin Yang Twins? My, I don't remember. It was him and somebody else. Is there a Razzie's equivalent? Worst penis. <laughs> Biggest log pulled out of an asshole on a helmet. <laughs> a our, Razzie's equivalent. <laughs> our friend Mary Jean is nominated for Viewer's Choice Titties. Her tits are fucking a, a, a spectacular. And Nico is going to is gonna go with her, and Nico is a virgin. Do you hear that? My, whenever that two mic gets turned on, it fucks everything it's up. It's not good. It stinks. Yep. Uh... Uh, yeah, but Nico's gonna go with her, and he's a virgin, and, and and Nico has said he will not be happy or satisfied unless by the time he has left Las Vegas, he at least has gotten a hand job. Now let me ask you, Nico, do you have to have it from Mary Jean, or do you take it from anybody? I'll take it from any female. No, oh, yeah, of course. I mean, if you, now, would you be happy just if she just put her hiney in your face and you get to masturbate? <laughs> Did uh, you think of that scenario? I didn't think of that. <laughs> okay. We we were strategizing with him a little bit, and the uh, consensus is that the best possible idea is not for him to be intimate with Mary Jean, but to get Mary Jean to bring some friends in. Yeah, for for those to be the ones yeah, to deflower Nico, like in a like in Almost Famous. Did you have to buy the tickets? Yeah. I how, did. how much were? Just talk a little. How much were they? All together, it cost me six. 80. Oh, you guys yeah. are... Well, oh. <laughs> um, so, uh, so you and uh, Mary Jean are going to uh, coach? Yes. She's okay with that? Yes. Cool. Tell her six hours earlier, because she tends to get there last minute. You got your own separate tickets with your own names on it, right? Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah, because... What airline? Oh, it doesn't matter. Who cares? <laughs> I don't, yeah, there's a porn asking. question I'm asking. I know, I caught myself. <laughs> I caught myself. What? But yeah, so he's... Uh, He's going out there. Wow, that's great. And you that's had 600 his... bucks saved up? I had the money for the tickets. Good for yeah. you. That's of his own it wasn't, it wasn't volition. wasn't as bad as I thought for the tickets. Good for Nico. Nobody pushed him to do it, and he's not even an intern when he's going out there. I did. I did. That's right. You're going out there just as a man. As a, yeah. as no, as a young, No college viral... credit. Right. He's not getting college credit for this one. <laughs> well, all right. Well, good. Now, he's also, the reason he's in, though, yeah, because... I would have waited for you to talk about this, but I was like, oh, it's his last day on Thursday, so we got to talk about this sure, on the air. Sure, sure, of course. And then after the show, he was like, he was talking to Travis, and he was like, "Yeah." And then he goes, "I have a, I have something for the for the guys. So can I can I come in next week?" And I'm like, well, "Yeah, today, we just announced everybody today was your last day, but I guess you can come in in four days. That's wow. fine." So what? Do you, oh, by the way, you're gonna love the expo. Are you going a day or two early? We're leaving the 23rd. Jim, do you get nervous when your friends are about to fly? Sometimes I do. Because <laughs> it smells like you might have gotten a little, oh, sorry. A little nervous at talking no about Nico's else, Don't embarrass me. No one else noticed. Did I, you? I did not notice. Okay, go like this. Everybody together. One, two, three. There's nothing. I got nothing. nothing. There you go. See, Sam, you're making it, it up. I heard it. So, um... Is it, you got anything? I, no, I heard it, though. Okay, so you know it's coming. Okay. So, I don't so, know why I breathed in. <laughs> <laughs> I fall for that every time. That's bad advice. <laughs> that is not... <laughs> Not a good suggestion. So yeah, on my go part. to the expo, dude. When you walk around the expo floor, like they have all the like the people they're doing signings and stuff. Yeah, she you're said going, we're going all the signings. You'll enjoy them because there's some hot girls. They're fucking little fat asses. You're going to enjoy that a lot, Nico. Have her introduce you to people because Mary Jean probably knows a lot of people there. It'd be probably be fun to do like a like a three day weekend there, right? Yeah, he's doing like six days. Yeah, oh, you're gonna be fucking. You're gonna be porn girl. By the time oh. six days, and he's following Mary Jean around the whole time. I'm like, what's your schedule? And he's like, I'm waiting. Mary Jean's just gonna tell me what the schedule is, and I'm just gonna follow her for six. It'll days. be. You'll probably have fun with her, though. I think so. Oh, yeah. You'll probably because she's crazy and she knows everybody and she's funny and she's she keeps, she yeah. She's insisting it's gonna she be a lot. Chats with everybody like she's very personable, so you will have a good time with her. Yeah. I hope there's an orgy. Yeah. How great would that be if there was an orgy? It's never a bad thing. But for 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 a little Nico. Oh my god! And he gets yelled at because he's tiptoeing through and he puts his toenail on someone's balls. Can you, <laughs> he, clips their, <laughs> he clips their bag like a velociraptor. Can, can you imagine going from? I can't shut the doors in my house, so I have to masturbate in the bathroom while I'm pretending to shit, to, I just had an orgy with a bunch of porn stars. It's all I want for him. <laughs> Isn't it great? Yeah, I, I want this young, virile man yeah. to come back uh, deflowered. And he's going on his own. It's not as an internet, which is great. Because yeah. whatever happens, happens. Yeah, it's, he's just going, this is how he wanted to spend his fun break from his two. And then he's coming back, by the way, so, so he's going to Vegas, right? And he's there until the 28th of January. Yes. The first day of his second semester of his internship is January 29th. We shouldn't talk about it when he comes back, though. 
Well, yeah, that's but that's, that's up just to, orientation. That's day. that's Nico. That's yeah. up, that's his. Personal. I, I don't think we should talk about that. Me neither. Back that's on. it's personal. Stuff. A lot of the, a lot of that that sort of sexual stuff is very personal. Uh, yeah, it's just not people. Don't, you know, I don't people don't, people that. aren't interested. <laughs> what what is the date you're going out there? <laughs> the twenty third. That's great. And yeah. you're coming out to the, the what the thirtieth or 29th? We're coming back the twenty eighth in that afternoon. When is the actual awards? Twenty seventh. Oh right. Okay. You think Nico's gonna gonna have a great time? Yep, I do too. <laughs> For the first couple days, it'll be quiet. There'll be a few things. But the 27th is a Saturday, so the 26th, 25th, 24th, 25th, like that'll kind of heat up with the expo. I hear it's not, again, it's not what it used to be because there's just not as many people going to it. But I also think that he'll have, still like, good. He'll what's have like... Up for, uh, what's up for Best Picture this year at the AVN? I don't know. It, they usually, it used to be like, the, fe, the, the Fashionistas, I think it was called, the year I went, that was a huge one. I want to say Belladonna was in that. Um, Remember they made that movie Pirates? That was like the big porno movie. Dude, of the there's year. a big one every year. It's usually oh, yeah. a take off on one, and it's almost shot like a real fucking like a right. like a, a high production, a high budget film. This was a John Staliano movie with the Fashionistas, I think it was called. Um, I don't remember. But Nico going out there, it's, the timing's good because he'll have like a couple of days. Is that this year, Lil Wayne? Oh, Young Weezy's gonna be out there. Lil Tunch. <clears throat> they always have a real, a real, a real music guest. Oh, Tunchy's going. Hmm. Um, yeah, Nico's gonna have two days to get comfortable, right? So that, that's, right. that's sort of like I'm here in Vegas. This is so weird. I'm not. He'll have those two days, get it out of his system, and by the third day, this will be comfortable. It'll be like a second home, and then he'll be able to, you know, get that dick wet. You know what Nick? I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I felt. Too. Yeah. <laughs> have you been to Vegas? I've never been. He hasn't been on a plane since he's three years old. It's a fun place. You, just to walk around. You guys do yeah. gigs there? Uh, no, I've never done a gig there. Yeah. No. You've been there, though. Been there, yeah. But it's, he's never traveled by it's himself. It's a fun... Oh, my, yeah, you'll be great. Just go everywhere a little early. That's my advice. Just yeah. go early. But that should be easy with Mary Jean there, just to get her early to places. Well, yeah. She, she tends to be, uh, you know, if you're going to hear her say this a lot, early bird gets the worm. She says <laughs> yeah, that a lot. That's what <laughs> she said when I was buying the tickets. Yeah, she, she says, uh, well, if, you, if, you, if you're on time, you're late. That's an old Mary Jean adage. Yeah, yeah. We, we sometimes we call her Club Soda Mary Jean because she's always so early. Although uh, they were trying to, <laughs> they were trying to save some money, and Nico pointed out to Mary Jean, you know, it's cheaper if you buy tickets uh, for a morning flight, and so you got tickets for the morning flight. Yes. Oh, well. First, first flight. Eight eleven. Eight o'clock. Mary Jean didn't want to go on the morning. She flight. She insisted eleven o'clock. I'm like Mary Jean. It's like two hundred dollars at eleven o'clock. Tell her it's a red eye, so she gets. To get there at midnight. Wait, so she <laughs> wanted to go at eleven. Here's why she's wrong, and I, 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 she should think of this because the traffic when you're going to the airport at eleven is an abomination because you're leaving at eight. That's what I figured. You're sitting in rush hour traffic to get there. Mm -hmm. So even though you got to get up earlier, if you're flying at eight, it means you're leaving at five thirty or whatever. Mm -hmm. You're fucking fine. Mary Jean is not leaving at five thirty for an eight o'clock flight. No. Uh, that might not happen, but maybe, you know what you guys <laughs> might do. I had those feelings. So maybe you ought to do this. Spring for a hotel room at the airport the night before, and maybe you guys just go the night before and stay in a hotel. You should suggest that to her. You know what? <laughs> then you get yeah. you get an extra night in a hotel with Mary Jean. That's I get not an extra a... night in a day. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Are you guys <laughs> staying in the same room? Yes. Oh my god. Get a couple of beds. Is that not amazing? Get That's... a couple of beds. Yeah. Just for your own privacy and right. for her privacy. And then you figure it out when you get there. Two yeah. beds. Two beds. And then figure it out after that. All right, we are back. I think I got everybody. Does, uh, Joe, did you have a question about Juego Box? Was that Jim and Sam one word? Or Jim and Sam... <laughs> is just it was one, in one word. Oh, it's in yeah, parentheses. Jim and Sam. Okay, Jim and Sam, Jim and Sam. is as, as one word. Okay. Hi, Dave. Hey, guys. David, tell us. Dave, you gotta eat that mic. That fucking mic they've never fixed. It's, it's just shitty. So, okay. Better? <laughs> yeah, much, much better. better. Did I... Did a little bird tell me you guys were talking about the new Star Wars movie? <laughs> we were. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Big fans. How was it on a scale of one to yawn? <laughs> How was it, guys? Joe, like, Joe's it, got some serious, it, serious issues with it, and none yeah. of the rest of us have seen it. It, yeah. it was a, it was a yawn, though. But what a, what another win for Mark Hamill? Am I right? <laughs> he said Mark Hamill was a goof in it. He was. Yeah. 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 They said he hasn't been this good since Corvette Summer. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody remember Corvette Summer? No. I heard he was making boo who cash on this <laughs> like Netflix money. Yeah. Uh, honestly, <laughs> like twenty million. That's what I heard. Did really? He really? Yeah. yeah. To get him back into it? Well, well I'm I guess sure they it was had available, but I mean, it was more about like you know, uh, hey, we got to start paying him like uh, you know Harrison Ford money. <laughs> His what agent's the a real actor. <laughs> by, by the way, uh, Harrison Ford made fucking millions and had this like amazing career, and then and then Luke Skywalker and, and Hamill just did nothing. The Big Red won. I mean, other than that, 
Uh, and well, Corvette Summer was a Corvette hit. Summer, yeah. Let's not argue. Well, he Mark. did a lot of theater in between these movies. <laughs> he did. So, no, that's really what he said. He and he did. I was uh, a theater guy. He was huge as the voice of the Joker on right. the Batman animated oh, series. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a big deal for him. But Han Solo, like he was Harrison Ford's a cool dude. Yeah. yeah. Chicks dig him. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. They like Luke Skywalker too. No, they didn't. Well, of course they did. He was boyish. Yeah, know? that's what was, I like. Yeah, he's a, a whatchamacallit, but um, <laughs> it's, it's good to see the franchise is still holding up, right? Do you guys think so? Or not Joe Mackey. Joe, Joe Mackey has some very definite think opinions. So. He yeah. thinks it's a hunk of shit. Someone on Twitter called me the voice of, of Star Wars yeah. in, a, in a condescending way, and I'm like, look, I didn't give myself that nickname, but thank you. That's the worst thing they said to you on Twitter, is you're the voice of Star no, Wars and you're the, complaining? That was the best <laughs> thing. <laughs> is, it a, um, is it a prequel, or is it like way in the future? It's two episodes. Episodes after Return of the Jedi. Okay, it's so a sequel. Which robots are in it? Uh, C three PO's in it. R two D 2s in it. Oh, good. And, and the circle. Okay. The circle. So, but robot. is it like PC now? Is it like a gender neutral R two? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's. I don't. We yeah, never. Says a hole that a oil falls free, out of. Uh, Job of the hut. <laughs> I never was into the Star Wars thing. I like the first one and the second one. There's a couple of them I liked, and the other the other ones made I it filled me with rage. The first one was very dark. It was really you know it was more of an adult movie. Now now it seems like it's a uh, you know it's like something you watch when you go to you know camp or something, right? <laughs> yeah, they, they yeah, I'm, very I'm not putting you down, Joe. If you went to a cool camp, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but so the first you... ones the first ones weren't that dark. You like the first ones were dark. Like if you're a kid and you watch them, you're like, oh, this is some serious shit. Well, there was know? a whole planet of people killed, which was kind of good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. They did blow a whole planet up. They did kill the everyone in the Rebel Star. It wasn't a dark movie, though. If you go back and watch it as an adult, it's still just as silly as any of the other Darth Star Vader Wars killed fucking Obi-Wan Kenobi. He puts a fucking sword through him. People yeah. die. I mean, Han Solo died in, in, in the one two years ago. Exactly. He did? He's old. Yeah, sorry. Wow. Dude. I'm way behind. <laughs> Joe, who do you think you relate to the most in the, uh, in the, in the year? <laughs> uh, you know, I get Lando Calrissian a lot. You do? Uh, I but that. I think... You're a token to make I... up for my guilt in the universe. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Lando got there through earning it. <laughs> and, All kidding aside, I mean, he though, was he the was manager of Cloud City. That's a pretty good resume. <laughs> Cloud City. Mm. Speaking of bitcoins, Jim, are you in on this yet? Or no? I am. I got in. I got. I actually got. I got a thousand of them in, in the beginning. Wow. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Congrats, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have I haven't you checked you into what the value is? No, I don't. I don't pay attention to stock. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I just kind of come in and do my thing. Let thanks, the accountant handle it. Oh, you shouldn't be coming in. Thanks for giving a heads up to the other, uh, you know, middle level comics. Dude, I forgot I had me. it. I forgot you, I had it. Bitcoin's not a stock. So oh. how much is it worth now? You think? <laughs> Bitcoin, right? Yeah, it's probably pushing, uh, probably pushing like three hundred a share. Wow, dude, that's great! What? A share, <laughs> a share. You know what you should do? Give one to your doorman for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Look at disgust on his face. Thanks. Do you tip them all? I had to give the tips yeah. this morning. Oh yeah. How many are in your building? I only have like nine. My 12. building's smaller. That's not that bad. I used what? to have like twenty-five in my old building. I know. I remember that building. Fucking that high maintenance end. guys and fucking mm. oh pool people. Yeah. And I bet you you're good. You're are you, you're not like a cheapo, right? No, I'm not. I do it because they don't, you know, then they, they treat you good all year, so don't fuck with them. Right. But, you know, that in my building, there's older folk who I think just bake them things. You oh, know, yeah. Like, here's, yeah. Here's a nice, oh, uh, you know, that's brutal. pie. Waste of time. Like yeah. Nobody wants that. They, they think it's like, uh, like we live on a farm or something, <laughs> you know? Did you move? No, not yet. Are you still thinking of it? Uh, I don't know with the tax code the way it is. This is adult stuff. Sorry, Lando. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know if I um, what I should do, but uh, yeah, I definitely want to move on to something because uh, have you guys talked about the tax code here? No, we were going to save it until like Gilbert's coming in too. We oh, figured sure. we'd make it a He's whole a like, all yeah. comics things. <laughs> he does have a Rain Man quality, so maybe he can make sense of it. <laughs> Remember when he dropped the toothpicks? How amazing he was! Did he count them all? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got to talk about Gilbert when he comes in about his documentary. Did you see it, Jim? I did. Yeah, this is why I was cut out of it. You were? Yeah. That's but like I, the second time you've been cut out of a movie. Second. I feel like <laughs> once I haven't been. But it's like when, when in real life, I, I didn't. I don't care. I'm not mad at Gilbert because he didn't. But the yeah. director could have called me and told me. Oh, What'd you get, oh they didn't tell what, you. What were you just, do, just like doing an interview. Yeah, and it didn't go to any out. of your comments. None, of, and I'm okay <laughs> with that. But just let me know. And the director didn't let me. The fucking director. Did you go to the premiere? Yes. You just sat there looking at the screen like a cunt. Were you sitting there thinking like? Oh, I was sitting next to one of the guys from F Troop. <laughs> it was me and Larry Storch. <laughs> <laughs> at what point when you're when you're watching this premiere? And you're sitting next to Larry Storch, and you're staring up at the big screen. Do you realize, I don't think I'm going to be in this movie. 
20, what, when they start going two and three times back to the same yeah. people they've already <laughs> yeah, talked right. to, you do that when they, like all of a sudden, like it's Jeff Ross's eighth comment, <laughs> and Artie Lang has said 11 things, and I'm like, yeah, no, I probably didn't say anything <laughs> valuable. Yeah, maybe they just lost all the Jim Norton footage. I just, I, I again, that happens sometimes, but at least let me know. Yeah, that, right? I can see that. Yeah. So the director, I would, I fucking, I hope he dies in a fire. But Gilbert, it was actually very good. And he, Gilbert's a really interesting guy. He is. You know, it was, and he's it, going on again, which is great. And it's it's very family friendly. I guess we could talk to him, yeah. and hear his take about it. But um, yeah. this is a great lineup. Can I say that? I haven't been in a while, and I'm working with. Joe and Sam at Caroline's coming up. So when is that? Is that tonight or tomorrow and Thursday? No, no, it's next. It's like two weeks from now, right? No, two, next. Week. Start the twenty sixth. Okay, the twenty sixth through um, up to the day before uh, the thirtieth. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be rock and show. Two one two seven five seven forty one hundred. If you don't have tickets yet, that's a fucking an amazing show. Joe and yeah. uh, and Sam so, and of course Attell. It's New Year's r- rock and Eve has some These guys are really you know it's gonna be a, it's gonna be rough for me because they're really strong and. Um, Sam just shot his, uh, did he talk, did you guys talk oh, about no, it? Oh, no, I saw on Amy's Instagram, I forgot, she, yeah, did she yeah. produce your special yeah, or direct yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where'd you shoot? Uh, roulette. How many Broken. shows? Two shows. Cool, how'd it go? Went well, first show was good, second show was, uh, was even better, they were really hot. <laughs> Everyone says this, the second show is always better. Dave, what is it, the curse of the first show? I yeah, don't know. I think everyone's a little nervous. Maybe. You know, and then, you know, you still need that, that, like, last minute rewrite on the jokes. You know, you're like, ah, oh, I gotta change that. And then the second show, you feel like a little bit more comfortable because you've already failed. Yeah. That's the way I see it. But these crowds now that come to these things, some of them are fans. Some of them are just, you know, like they kind of did like a mass, you know, like, hey, want to go sit inside somewhere? And then these people show up, you know? We and everyone said, by the way, every director says this. After, after you do your first show, you got it. You already got the special. You nailed it. So now this next one is great. They always tell you that you got it on the first one. Like, oh, no problem. And you're like, no, I didn't. I'm suicidal after the first one. And then the second one, I'm like, all right, that was that was good. Well, the fir- first one was 7.32, right? So it's yeah, kind of early. On a Monday. Too, but it's usually so. better than you think. The first one, when you watch him and pose, it's like the first one's like, oh, that was better than I thought. It, was. it, didn't, it didn't suck. It was okay. It was well, good. Well, I think you're doing, like, you're also doing... You, you're delivering it, and then the second one, you're really like, you're a little too cocky because the crowd's good. So you're yeah. like, well, that's the, no one wants to watch a, a comedian that believes in himself. You know, right. they want to see you just delivering the line. Seven thirty on a Monday, you could. What, you book the venue the day before? How the <laughs> where was it? Well, Amy's in uh, Steve Martin's play, so she she had to be there, and uh, you know that's that's the night off. So Amy introduced you, and then Steve Martin introduced her. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> he closed with some banjo, and uh, yeah. Did he come out and say, ladies and gentlemen, but do air quotes, you know, he's a wild and crazy guy. <laughs> that's fun. Did you, uh, so do you watch, like Jim was just talking about in the edit, when you start saying like, oh, that's that wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Do you Did you watch back in the edit? Uh, well, we, I just shot it, so we're not editing until January. Oh, I got you. Yeah, give yourself watch like it. a little break. <laughs> I, you yeah. watch, watch your own terror, your own nightmare come true. I'm fucking, I'm fucking th- a time code obsessed twat. Oh, it's I horrible. I literally pulled this joke out of the early show, put it in the late, like, I'm, I'm fucking all over it. So make sure you, you pay attention to the time codes and and really do it. Don't let them do it. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I've been that it. way too where you have like, you get the transcript and you read it and you're like, oh, oh my God, I have to find that word. You know, it's just so much work. Yeah, I watch, I, I, I bring them both up on the computer and watch a minute and then a minute or two minutes and two minutes and I see what worked better and you can hear the laughs on each right. one. Right. Jim, you're like how many specials in now? Uh, a half hour and five hours. Wow. wow. Dude, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, real fucking, a nice lukewarm resume. <laughs> <laughs> you must be, your only problem now is running out of titles. I know. I need, I need a better one. Just, uh, this the next one's going to be called Jim Norton 2018. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> or running out of titles. That's a good title. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Let me ask you this. Sure. If they had specials in the Star Wars universe, <laughs> <laughs> who would you go see? Who would you pay top dollar for? Oh, Mace Windu. Mace, he's <laughs> Who's that? another. Uh, he's another guy I'm compared to a lot. Uh, who is it? Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah, he has a purple lightsaber because he really hits uh. on both the light and dark sides of the Force. Oh, I didn't. Know oh, he's that. the bisexual. <laughs> That's what that is. It's a tribute to bisexuality. Well, Jedi's aren't supposed to get married or have relations. Uh, why? Oh, really? Why? Why don't because, Jedi's fuck? Because they're gonna run for Congress. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're supposed to be, you know, concentrating Pure. on the Force, and Ugh, and there's sense. You know, to walk the path, you can't have, you know, worldly distractions. You can't dump loads. Mm. You can jerk off. How many? Well, times you don't you... need to if you have the Force, though. How many? Times you can have you... the Force jerk you off. Look, I don't. I'm not uh, touching my nose right now. But that's incredible. 
And when you were growing up, did you have another friend you could share this with? <laughs> maybe a, maybe no, a, I didn't. I didn't. A, a little too touchy priest. <laughs> Jim, I, I, we didn't talk about this yesterday, but when you were in Dublin, I was watching your Instagram video, and you accepted a ride from a stranger on the street? Oh, yeah, I walked out of the hotel, and I was walking, and this fucking van stops, and this guy goes, uh, Jim Norton! <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, and he's talking about the Opie and Anthony show, and Jim and Sam and Chip, and I'm like, I'm looking for this place to eat, and he goes, uh, 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 there's a place, I'm like, where is it? He goes, hop in! <laughs> and I just got in this stranger's fucking truck. You got in truck. the van. I just wow. Got, That's it was, on you. It was weird. Yeah, it's definitely not me. I just got into his... I didn't film any of it. I just got in his delivery truck, and I sat with him for a half hour. Oh, no. Because it was traffic. Like, I, I literally could have taken me three minutes to walk, but it took half a half a hour to drive. <laughs> <laughs> How? What What venue were you doing there? I did... Uh, the Vicker Street, it's called. Have you done it? No, I don't remember. I've been there in so long. Dublin was good. London was great. They're really good crowds. I thought we were going to do our own European tour, you and me. What happened? Co Colin wants to do it too. We should do it. That'd be great. I just did it to get over there. I, I was like, "Fuck it, just book it." I want to do it. The availability is you got to book a year out. Like fucking the yeah. the, the uh, what's the one everybody does in in London? Uh, Piccadilly Circus. No. <laughs> the Soho uh, one is that? No, it? not the Soho. The Castle. I don't remember. Um, Herod Soho. How? <laughs> I, I don't remember. Whatever. It's a junglers. Oh wait, that's. <laughs> <it>. <laughs> But it's a year out. You got to book it. And did they uh, get your stuff? Or they, they were like, amazing. Really, everything. And they're you. all radio show fans and, really? and podcast fans. Yeah. And you wow. got a driver out there now too. What's that? You got a driver out there now too. So you'd be fine. Yes, I do. I'm yeah. surprised he didn't invite you home for a good old Irish meal. I invited him to the show. He was he was really mother mother. <laughs> <laughs> I got to an American here. <laughs> Would you have gone back to his place if he was no, like you want to get a, no. some food? He was he was a good guy though. That's so right. weird that you got in his van. I couldn't believe I did it. I just you, got in and we just drove. That's just your instinct was like, okay, yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, why not? Yeah. He's cool. I like it. You're an ambassador. <laughs> <laughs> you were like an ambassador for our land. I yeah, like he was a good that. guy. I could sense you could sense he was not he was not a dick. He was a fan of the show and he knew all the radio stuff. Right. <laughs> so yeah, was, yeah. By the way, when you're saying like, I don't think that that guy's a bad person. He's a fan of the show. That's usually not evidence that they're not a bad. No, person. No, basically, he uh -huh. co-signed my narcissism. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I miss Anthony. They all miss Anthony. Just <laughs> yeah. got in the van. Said like, so what other jokes do you like? Tell yeah. me more. Come what on, what, what, what other what's stuff? Your favorite bit? But then there's some criticisms. Are they as were PC there over there? Yep. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, let's hear it. I don't the, remember what they were. The I guy, know. you got in the guy's van and he was giving you criticism. Things that he liked, things that he didn't like. But he wasn't a dick about it. I was okay with it. All right. Did you just accept a ride from a stranger? You get in his van and he's like, here's what you could do to change your show up a little well, bit. Well, maybe <laughs> certain things, that old elements of the show that he didn't enjoy that are no longer part of the show. That's, mm. that, that's the... <laughs> what about... <laughs> getting into strangers' Are they as PC there as, as they are here? <laughs> not, my crowds aren't usually not, so I didn't see it. I didn't, but oh, I... Exactly. I they asked me after in Manchester, the guy said, do you want to stop by the comedy store? But I was like, I had to fly early. Yeah. But if I went on there, they might have been. But they really? weren't, you know, where they weren't my crowd. Mm. But you know how it is. When you're going somewhere, they know it's you. No, the the only guy I know who does England is Doug Stanhope. Stanhope does yeah. it all the time, yeah. Yeah, they love him over there. They do. He's the, like their Bill Hicks now. You know? Oh, like, okay. Really? He's like the, the elevated uh, comedy. And he was always telling me how difficult it is like to, you know, they want you to bring like a whole new hour. That's how they tour there, which is like they have like this long hour that they do. Yeah. So it's not really like jokes there. I think it's more like a long story, I guess. um you know, for in Ireland, more of a legend. You have to go and talk. <laughs> <laughs> I did not. I, I did my not did my act, but that you got to wait at least a year to go back. I wouldn't go back within a year unless I went somewhere else. Oh, okay. They also in like Edinburgh, I, the, all, all the shows have themes, right? And it's like about your feelings. It has to be, you have oh, to really? Be like, yeah, you have to be like easy for me, Sam. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> No, it's just like, like they have to be. Like, was, I heard there was a guy like running on a treadmill, and the whole theme was he was like out running his demons, but he's running the treadmill the oh. whole show. Ew. And he brings that, that like, treadmill around. Yeah. <laughs> and he can just wants to show that he can do an hour of cardio and talk. That's pretty impressive. Honestly, that is impressive. He's like, get it, guys? I'm out running my demons, and I have a treadmill to symbolize this. So it's, yeah, a one hour fucking uh, pun. And, and is that, that's a festival, right? That's not just a one off. That guy won the festival. Oh, he did? Yeah. Well, wow. He outran everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, back to you. <laughs> mm. Well, yeah, I guess so. I'm, but is he really talking while he's running? Is he walking on it? I don't know. I what didn't. Do, I didn't ask that many follow-up questions. Next, next, next year, he has to do it on an exercise bike. <laughs> it's gotta oh, be. It's gotta Joe. be different. It's got. Come on. 
<laughs> Gotta be different. No, I, I thought like as the as the <laughs> act progresses, like the treadmill goes up higher and higher. You know, as he fights more demons. <laughs> Either that, or he stands around with a bunch of condiments and goes, "I'm trying to catch up." <laughs> <laughs> Dave, what do you got? That's next year. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so I wonder what the endorsements are alone for that. That must be awesome, right? <laughs> Just uh, all the, uh, you know, everything he wears. You know, you should be able to, like, write that off. Of course. Like know? an athlete, right? Yeah. And, you know, that's what I love about how international comedy is. See, like, over here, people would probably see that and go, like, eh. But over there, it's a big deal. It's an applause-worthy thing. There you go. <laughs> this guy really put effort into thematics. <laughs> so, Jim, what do you think? In Norway, should we hit that or what? I would hit, I've hit Norway. I've hit, uh, I've hit Amsterdam. I've hit Antwerp, Belgium. I've yeah. hit uh, two other cities when I was... Uh, where the... Wait, what was the third in... Dachau. I did not there. I wanted to go there. That'd be a great place to do it. Um, fuck, it was Norway, Antwerp, um, Amsterdam. Oh, uh, Denmark and Stockholm. I hit, I hit five cities, and then I, this time I just hit London and Manchester. And how'd you go from city to city? How'd you do it? The problem is it's a fucking day in and out. You don't have time to do anything. You're in and out in a day. Right. So it's it's kind of shitty because you're, you're in and out so fast. Like, this time it was like, I, I actually paid a guy a lot of money to drive me from London to Manchester because I couldn't wake up and do another flight. It's just oh, right. too much traveling. Yeah. So let's do a two-week thing. We relax. We hang out like we used to do. Yeah, well, I thought it was trains. Like, it, don't they do trains over there? Yeah, you can do, we can do trains. There you go. Yeah, we can yeah. do trains. We can bring a backgammon set. Yeah, because <laughs> well, Dave's more of an afternoon flyer, and I'm more of a morning flyer, which I oh, think God. makes the whole thing. No, the juxtaposition I'm of that is more. nuts. We I should used to bring be a first film flight out. You remember that was my nickname, first flight out. Yes. Yeah. Now, <laughs> yeah. There's no good flights anymore. No. Am I right? No. But then your nickname it was like first flight out, and then child rapist just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> sure. But you know the point of it is, is this. You know, in Europe, you know, we can be there together, and we can kind of barometer how much they hate us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As America, I'll dress up as a cowboy, <laughs> and you could be a guy in oil rig. A Native American? <laughs> sure. Why not? <laughs> you could go between England and France to take that channel. Oh, that would be awesome. Right? I but, wanted you know, to do I that. comedians in the channel. Yeah. But I love to swim, so oh, that's really... That's, <laughs> that's better for that's you. That's one of my favorite swims. How long does it take to get uh, on a train in the channel? I do want to do that. I didn't. You didn't uh, do I don't know I what the have time. train is. I know that uh, to drive it, it's like... Uh, I don't know. I'd probably take the train. A couple hours. I'd probably take the train. You could take a boat. You could get on the ferry between uh, England and, and France. That might be fun. How yeah. long does that take? A couple hours. Make, a few make, hours. Make an afternoon. Do they leave you off on the beach like, uh, you know, like Normandy <laughs> style? They don't bring you to Normandy. Yeah, they yeah, just yeah. bring you like a quarter mile out. You have to uh -huh. walk it in. Yep. And there's all those big, like, uh, jagged X's and stuff. I love that. that you have we to should get make through. an afternoon yeah. of it. You think? I think so. Or how about this? We set up one. We do a little something in, in Paris, maybe, just to, to try it. Right. Um, and then we take the ferry over and we you're get going, some material. You're going to what? Oh, you get material on the ferry. Yeah, yeah. I'll say, hey, are you going to do anything about how long it took? And you'll go, no, but you do how windy it was. We'll just kind of split up the jokes. That's so great, actually. Yeah. I love getting inside the mind of a comedian. Yeah, you know, and fascinating. Really, <laughs> really analyzing well, how gonna, the jokes are made. Maybe. Well, I would rather you close the show, but uh, we can actually go out there and flip one of your Bitcoins. <laughs> and then, like, we both see it, but they don't. And they love that kind of stuff. They'll be like, oh, down, I picked heads. That was the worst part of tournament. Nobody wants to go on after Dave. That's just, you know, that's just the truth. Nobody, that's not true. It is. You're doing, I'm an a, easy follow. Ask these that's guys. That's not true. You're not an easy follow. It's I think not. I am. Yeah. My stuff is so corny now. It's like oh, ridiculous. Oh, God, dude. Please. It's like hee-haw. No. <laughs> I really am the weakest one there. Every no. night, every day, actually. Actually, now that I do the early shows at the cellar, I see Jim there. He's always working on new stuff to these tourists. They look at him sometimes like, what do you think? A hero? Oh, that was a, a god? I, I know you're being, I know you two are being self-deprecating, but you two are much better comedians than Sam. Wow. Oh, come on. Yeah, Would well. Lando say that? <laughs> that oh, that's player. why I got that swashbuckling reputation. Yeah. It's lied like that. No, he would have said the white cuck on my left. <laughs> no, but that was the thing. Dave and I were co-headlining these gigs, and... Uh, it was, I, I said, like, I, oh, well, the, years ago. Oh, that was a great tour. That was with Amy and, uh, No, with, no, no, no. Before, with Arnie Just me and you did a few. Oh, okay. Years ago. And the thing was, they were like, oh, I guess you just put the money. And I'm like, I want Dave to go on last. He could take more money. I mean, Dave's a fucking, the really a humble guy. He's like, no, no, we'll split it. But no. I didn't want to go on after Dave. And the one time I was going to go on after Dave, I was like, okay, I'll do it. I didn't want, you know, it was Boston at the Orpheum. And you took the wrong route. You took the fucking uh, the ninety five route, right? And the, it was really he was really late because he the, the GPS just took him the wrong way. And right. Instead of three hours, it took him five hours. So we're at the Orpheum, and the crowd was fucking antsy because it was like 30, 35 minutes late, and the promoter's panicking. He's like, "Just go on." 
and I walk on, and I'm fucking five minutes into it, and I look over, and I see Dave walk in <laughs> onto the side <laughs> of the stage. I was like, oh, fucking thank God. Uh, I was so happy. No, Terrible but, story. Yeah. But I just remember that <laughs> was the one time. Great. I didn't say it was great, but I'm just saying that I, did, I was respect to Dave. Didn't want to go on after. Well, that was nice, but I mean, yeah. the tour we did with uh, with Amy and Artie and you and, and me. Did you, did you do in Stan Hope, too? We did it with me, you, Doug. Yeah, and, and Stan Hope was on one of them. Bill Burr, that, Brewer. Yeah, that was great wow. shows, man. Those, those are good shows, man. Damn. Yeah, fucking me, you, Burr, and Brewer was the first inclination of that. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was, was the anti social tour. Social? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and Artie Lang, his first gig back after two years was with us. Uh, that, mm-hmm. that was a great fucking fun tour. And a shout out to Artie. I saw him the other day. Uh, you know, he's trying to get better. So Yeah, I apologize. I punched him in the face. <laughs> I just did it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's going to rehab, which I'm really happy for. And oh, I was good. talking That's yesterday. Awesome. He's, uh, you know, he's fucked. The judge said five years ago to rehab. So hopefully it takes, you know, he's just. We say, yeah, it's like he's not a train wreck. He's a fucking hilarious comic. You don't, you don't want. He's wanna... the best guy I know. He's he really a, he's is a... my. Be- I mean, honestly, he's such a sweetheart. And you don't want to see him just getting pegged. Just, oh, Artie's already gonna die. It's like, all right, we get it. But he's he's really he's a great comic and so brilliant and it's so hilarious quick and a great dude. guy too. Yeah, he really guy. is. Everybody loves this guy, and yeah. it's like, all right, man, just get your shit together. You know. Yeah. We I remember mean, Mackie and I did a show like years ago, and it was like big deal for us. We, you know, we we love Artie, we you know always, and then we go on and out of the gate, Mackie was like, uh, "I bombed two shows tonight," and Artie was like, "Here and where else?" <laughs> 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 so quick, so funny. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's you a got, lovely guy. Have you guys lived your bucket list out yet? <laughs> <laughs> I always tell this, Mackie was so nervous to meet Artie that he vomited in the bathroom. <laughs> Did you vomit ago. when you met Artie yeah, Lang? I, I puked because I was, we were going to do the show and I was just super nervous back so then. So did and he, for other reasons. <laughs> 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 well, I'm, I'm not doing it for thin, to be thin. <laughs> do you get nervous around the bigger names? or? I used to, not so much anymore, but you know when you're... It, Comedy's weird because you can, you're working with your heroes pretty quick in, where it's like just like at Caroline's to... next weekend. Am I right? Yeah, guys? Huh? seriously. Yeah, good luck, Sammy. Th- those are going to be fun shows. I hope Sam's up to the task. I don't think he is, but Dave, <laughs> Dave is very supportive of him. It's going to be great. <laughs> and I'm not going to throw up because that bathroom. It's kind of a small bathroom in that <laughs> green room. The, the lock doesn't work all the time, and the sink leaks. But yeah, well, who you, would you, you want to work with if you could work with anybody alive? Or good dead? question. That's a good one, right? Absolutely. Thank great. You. Fatty Arbuckle. <laughs> 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 He's in the bucket list. I've never worked with Norm Macdonald. That'd be. Fun. You yeah, no, it's great. Time. That would be really good. What about you, Sam Morrell? Live or dead? Live or dead? Ooh, I don't know, man. Ronnie Dangerfield. Okay. Oh, nice. I do a great. I don't <laughs> get any respect. That's not even the verbiage. <laughs> How about me? Thanks for throwing it back to me. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to work with Toadie Fields. Oh, and, me uh, too. She yeah. was on Kiss's first fucking TV appearance. I didn't know that. Her and Robert Klein, it was the Mike Douglas show, and she was talking about Gene's hook nose, oh, implying really? that he's Jewish. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she was funny. <laughs> and then I would, uh, if I could go see one concert of, of a Deborah, it would be Sam Kinison. I would want, but oh, at nice. his height. Did you ever not see Sam now? I saw not Sam now. live a couple of times. Um, uh, yeah, I didn't. I never got to see him live. Just started comedy, and um, he was working at Rascals South. Oh, cool. What a cool place. <laughs> and I, I was doing open mics in those days, like 1990. <laughs> and um, I was fucking, uh, we, we would do like, you know, the Rascals South had that cool showroom and then the bar area did the open mic. Uh-huh. And then one day after the show, Ward brought Sam out to talk to the comedian. So we all got to talk to him for about 10 minutes and he was a little drunk. Uh-huh. Uh, but he was really sweet, man. It was the only time I got to meet him. What year was that again? 1990. Wow. Okay. I started, oh, 90 or 91. So what was the year like he popped? Like it was after that movie with Rodney Danger. Late 80s, uh, 89. Him and Dice were on the same time. I want to say, could we check that, Troy? I want to say 88, 89. That out, that Louder Than Hell album is fucking crazy but good. When the first time he was on the Dangerfield special, he was fucking, the second you saw him, he yeah. became. Oh, yeah, he, he killed it. And oh, that bit where he pulled the mic out of the thing, it was like, if you could take your dicks, you would to your wife, you know? Oh, and he right, would right. pull the mic out. It was such a funny bit. But the way he would start off his Letterman. Screaming, uh, he just uh, people. Anyone who like looks back, there's younger people who look back. And Kinnis, who wasn't that, you don't understand how uh, fucking powerful he was. His he was opening, really powerful. His opening line on Letterman was, uh, "There's still time to call the church and stop this thing." <laughs> it was one of the greatest <laughs> opening lines. <laughs> Is that the one where he looks nervous? Like, there's one or two where he was like nervous. Like you could tell, like he was like a little nervous. But then once he got into his flow, maybe on that one he was. But that was before he was wearing like even the beret. 
Because mm-hmm. he just had the hair kind of parted like all the way from the side, and he was still wearing like the heavy oh, trench coats. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I didn't like when he got real rock and roll after one point where he started like like you know wearing the fucking bandana. I liked when he had like the little beret. When he was at like an arena comic, that's where I I lost. When he started know, doing that, yeah, that's where it didn't happen for me. But yeah. Before that, I was like, wow, this guy. It, it, it was almost like um, no one could hold the stage like that. Like that's yeah. when you look at that, you know. It's like that guy really could hold it. That Dangerfield special, the, the Dangerfield Young Comedian special, Dice blew up from, uh, Kinnison blew up Hicks, from. Schimmel. Did Bill, yeah. I don't even remember. Was Hicks on Dude, one of those? Hicks, Schimmel yeah. was? Hicks was on the one so with Sam good. Kinnison. Was he? Yeah, and so was Schimmel, and so wow. was uh, Don Myrera, right? Don That's Myrera was great. There was so many. that Those lineups, Carol Leaf was on it. Those lineups were stacked. Who, who else was on? I know on Dice because Dice told the story. Barry Sobel was on his. Yes, oh, he was really? on that one too, yeah. I don't remember who else was on. And then there, um, wow, yeah, I'm trying to think. But yeah, Schimmel's another guy who uh, I definitely, you know, well, I got to actually work with yeah. him and see him live, so he was great, too. Who's yours, Norton? Yeah. That you would want to work with? I mean, I wish I would have worked with Richard Pryor at the Comedy Store, because I wasn't doing the store. I met him once. It was there in 94. I, I wish, uh, me and Patrice actually went and met him, uh, or 95. You think uh, you could follow him? <laughs> no, but I would love to do it. I would well, th- that night probably, but you know, <clears throat> uh, I I followed Dice the first time I did the store. I was doing the uh, <clears throat> Louis Anderson show, like yeah. seven clean minutes of fucking stand up, and Dice just went on out of the blue, <laughs> and fucking Frankie Pace didn't want to go on after him. Frankie, like, so the, the comedy store, the was comedian, Dice clean. No, it was surprisingly dirty for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to do an seven hour. <laughs> an hour of, you know, and my gum is chewing. <laughs> and I had to do seven clean minutes. <laughs> Maureen Tarrant had got me a spot just to warm up for Louis Anderson the next night or oh, two wow. nights from then. So I fucking, uh, nobody wanted to go on if the dice was so dirty. So the fucking, you know, the host, they would say, who's going on? And he went, Jim Norton. And dice is like, ah, this next guy's great. Who is he? And he's, <laughs> and he's just shitting on me. And I went on, and I, f- I wanted to, I knew I would bomb after him. I fucking died. You did? Yeah. One of my heroes. I died for seven minutes, but I called Florentine when Dice was on, like, from the payphone at the store. I'm like, well, guess who's on stage? So Jim came and was talking to him off stage. So when I came off, they were chatting, and that's how I got to know Dice. But you didn't win him back at all? The audience? No, like you couldn't get there after a few it's, minutes. It's too long after a story a for now. Show? That's that's really different. Me and Jim went back on later as Jim and Jim, and just did obscure dice lines from the day the laughter died, and we bombed even harder. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long story, but yeah. And it that was, was when a, Dice was at his at his. No, like, Dice. No, it was after the arenas again. That's mid '90s. But he was still doing. I toured with him after that. Uh, we became friends, and I wound up touring with him and doing like three thousand seats, four thousand seats wow. at the Rosemont in Chicago two nights in a row. He was still doing fucking a lot of numbers, man. But he wasn't doing. Doing seventeen thousand, but he was dice was still killing man. He and the was, crowd would yell at you like, "Where's dice?" Like they. Would I never that. bombed in front of him. Uh, I, I had tough shows, but never. I almost bombed in in Chicago once at the Rosemont in front of four thousand people. They booed me. I couldn't hear my opening line because they were fucking booing so hard. Really? <laughs> and then somebody heckled, and you know how fucking hecklers are. And I addressed mm. it, and and they uh, a thousand laughed, and then one more person yelled, and they all shut up. To hear, like the animals wanted, like the fucking Romans yeah. wanted to hear what you did. And if I knew if I got him, I had, and, and I wound up getting and killing the guy, and then I wound up having a decent set. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, but that's crazy. Th- training, I love, dude. Dice was fucking amazing to work with him because his crowds, they didn't know who I was, and they were fucking animals. Mm. Wow. So wow. they, they, they taught me a lot. How you about guys, you? Do you guys have a creek in the cave story you'd like to throw in? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. One time Big J I left did. one of his gloves at the urinal and I fucking brought it up to me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for who? Is it really Tony Fields for you? Uh, yeah, no, I, I feel like uh, she, of, of all the uh, like amazing lady comedy, like she's the one that no one really knows her work. You know? Yeah. Like, she was out of it before, like, I guess... People were were into it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I read one of her lines, uh, like when they had like the, like lines from everyone, which I love Joan Rivers, okay, uh, and everybody does. Yeah. But like this, Tony feels like she had this line, like you know, which is just like a classic left turn joke of like you know, I went on a two week diet and all I lost was two weeks, and I was like, hey, you know, it, whether it's good or bad, that's like an evergreen joke, and I was yep. like, oh, that's cool. Not every joke holds up. Sure. Forever, yeah. you know. And for the amount of laughter she I got on that read. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's be honest. We're full of comics. You're lucky things weren't thrown at you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, that would be kind of cool. And and she lost a leg. That's what pretty Did much she her really? Head. Yeah. Oh, so it became Tony Field. <laughs> <laughs> became Tony Lean. <laughs> Robert Klein for me was one of my, my fucking heroes. Like I, I saw I got, him live a lot. I've gotten to know him. 
um, and we become in, friendly right? with him. What's that? We had him yeah, in but I mean, he'll text me once in a while. Like that's one of my favorite things being a stand-up is I just got to know Robert Klein. He's one wow. of my favorite people ever. He's a good guy. He's he's another guy who's like. You know, back in the day, like he was a teacher before he was a comic. So like he had a real job and he like did a real thing. And uh, you know, he's a super smart guy. And his uh, what's the name of his first uh, special? It's like live. My, at the, uh, don't yeah. know, Robert. It was the first HBO special. I don't remember yeah. what it was called. Seventy five. That like the was first the one that really special he did HBO the first did. comedy special on HBO. Yeah, that was the one that started everybody. He did. Uh, I know Robert Klein at Yale is one of my favorites ever. That was done in like in eighty two from from Yale. He was a drama student mm-hmm. or a drama graduate. Um, I don't remember what the first ones were called. But he was just—he's a genius. Mm. I wonder if we could remaster that with some counter speech on it. Oh, I love that. <laughs> yeah, just right. throw my opinions in. <laughs> what are you shooting again? What? Are you shooting another one? I'm not ready yet. I don't have the jokes. No, I don't have enough jokes. And uh, pretty much every joke I have, I'm already rethinking. These guys know. These guys are great joke comics, too. By the way, these guys are great joke comics, Joe and uh, Sam. Yeah, they are both. They really hilarious. are. And that's like the dying art of comedy. You know, they're like blacksmiths in the age of uh, plastic. <laughs> like, that's crazy. <laughs> As he's wearing, who's on your shirt? Oh, it's the Knicks rookie. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dave is so hard on himself. Though. I, I saw him the other night. He so much good news shit. So many I mean, good jokes. It, Dave mm. is his, hard, his harshest critic by a mile. Yeah. Um, thanks. Thanks, Mom. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, thanks. But uh, it's, I the new jokes you, are tough. I literally don't enjoy I I, I, I watch. When we would do the, the, thing, the fucking gigs together, I would hate watching. Because I would come back on and within five minutes hear something that I'm like, ugh. Like, I'll never write that. Yeah, but I'll Jim, never you... write that joke. It's such a fucking great. Your joke about fucking doing uh, having a pillow fight when you're on acid is one of my favorite <laughs> things anyone's ever said. Oh yeah. Well, I don't know if that's an international joke. I don't know what your <laughs> thoughts are. It didn't work when I did it in Dublin. <laughs> 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 Guys, go ahead, come the on. The hundred day. mile rule. Fire back at me. <laughs> okay. You know what we should do? We should do a <laughs> training session in Iceland. What do you think? That's oh, like, I would love it. I've never been there. It's nice. I've been uh, there once. Yeah. I went to Bobby Fisher's grave. Oh, you did? Oh. All kid- Guys, let's take it down and not. Did you leave a rook? <laughs> <laughs> you play checkers at his grave? That's sacrilege. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby Fisher, that hater. Oh, come on. He wasn't wrong. <laughs> Jim went to the museum, too. He bought a T-shirt. Oh, he bought, they have a Bobby yeah. Fisher museum there? Well, it's nice. a shitty museum. It's There's nothing Wow, we're going to crush it if they have no other entertainment. Yeah. I mean, really. I'd love to do a gig there. Is there a Viking reenactment we could be part of? <laughs> <laughs> the museum was crowded when you went, right? The yeah. Bobby Fisher museum? I called them. They're like, we'll keep it open for you. <laughs> <Lovely guy. laughs> it was a shithole. And I'm glad I went. He's my boyhood hero of mine. I still love him. The Bobby Fisher? Love. One of my favorite, again, one of my favorite. If I could meet anybody ever, it probably would have been Bobby Fisher. I didn't know you really? were a master chess player. Are I you? am. I just, I love the art of the, I, I love the art of it. Really? I, I love bishoping. You do? Yeah. <laughs> Is that what it's called? Yeah. <laughs> Diagonal. When I, when I see an X, I just see two bishops oh, crossing. Cool. Wow. Oh, yeah. now I, yeah, I, I used to see you like with that book, yeah. whatever yeah. that is. That's right. Uh, chess, chess mastery. Oh, there you go. That's we used to play every night at the cellar. Take, huh? Really? No, every night we would play. Mm. And what? <laughs> Who would you play with? Keith, Patrice, um, SD would play sometimes. Kevin Hart would come in and play. I mean, he was, he was fucking new then. I mean, just all of us would play. The wow. Everyone. Jordan Rubin. Wow. Okay. Kevin Hart doesn't play chess with you anymore at the cellar. I have to reintroduce myself. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have to stand behind like a rope, and a lot of times they'll walk over and give me a hug, like, yeah, we knew each other. But with the rope right there. <gasps> yep. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. It's one of those hugs where you have to lean in your torso. Yeah, it's like yeah. He'll, he'll, whoever he's with, he'll be polite and introduce me. He'll be like, Jim was a good friend. It was. He always said, was. Jim was a good friend of mine. You know, we came up together. He'll just that's, be polite. Right. That's, but, <laughs> but it's clear. Is there anything worse when a major celebrity is polite to you? Like, uh, oh, right. That's right. Forgot. It's just that. Or, oh, Jim. <laughs> this is why you're not. You don't have celebrity friends. I, know, I, I like when you're with uh, at the cellar. You'll see like a famous p- a person with their posse, and they'll go, "This guy's a funny guy." Like, to, <laughs> to their uh, to their could give a shit posse. Humiliating. Uh-huh. It's humiliating because then you're supposed to. And then you're like, "Thanks." Yeah. Then you then you feel like you should do something like t- a little tap dance. Yeah, right. Yeah. There's nothing makes earn a, their respect. No, nothing makes a comedian more boring than when another comedian says he's funny to other people because mm-hmm. all you can say is I appreciate. Oh, come on, man, thanks. Right. And that's where it dies. You don't sit there and be like, you don't have a just in case somebody says I'm funny joke in your back pocket. And no one's ever been worse at small talk than I am. I'm yeah. horrendous. I'm pretty at bad. You shut down. I'm afraid to approach you sometimes. I feel like you're deep in thought. I'm terrible at it. I've always been. My ex girlfriend really? used to laugh at me. I'm so. Bad Even with your it. friends, like you've known 
It's nothing to do with Dave or anybody I've known. I'm just bad at small talk. You don't I thought like you it. meant with like I'm strangers. an uncomfortable human being. I thought you were just tired. No, 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 no. no. I'm oh. just fighting my own uh, admissions demons. and 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 then you know confessions. Right. Okay. Maybe you should get on a treadmill and talk about it. <laughs> I really will. <laughs> Trying to bring it around. I have, but I went backwards. I went up making things up. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he ends it with a Chevy Chase and I. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> A nice old Benny Hill. <laughs> oh, Benny Hill. Remember uh, the rapist they put together? Oh, therapist. Get out of the door. <laughs> Benny Hill was a funny guy. Can I? Can we go back to guys you would like to work with? Benny sure. Hill. I would I'd love like to, to have met yeah. Benny Hill. He has one of the best lonely deaths I've ever heard of. Do you get into this or no? Oh, uh, no. Died? He died. He was dead for three days. No one knew he was dead. And uh, they found him in, in like his house. He had like five TVs. Like I guess he was just watching TV. This is before the you know you could like sure. tape things. So they said he was, he was just... always really bad at small talk. <laughs> he was bad at small <laughs> talk. Benny Hill. That's true. Just dying lonely. there, doing yeah, poppers, lonely... <laughs> looking at different <laughs> cocks on five televisions. <laughs> he was watching five TVs, and that's that's how he died. Well, he just died. Yeah, like just alone watching TV. Wow. What do you think of that? Joe? That's that's not bad. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. ways to go. You got five TVs. I mean, you there's probably only alone. five channels. With all your uh, Star Wars figurines staring at you. <laughs> uh, they're collectible action figures. Oh, sorry. 